back in there. Ah, ah, <laughs> My nuts are sliding out. <laughs> YouTube, it's your girl Breezy here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a really, really good Christmas, that it was smooth, nothing crazy happened, nobody got drunk and started swinging on a cousin, but that it was just a good time, good food, all that, all that. If you're watching this, it's because it's New Year's Eve and at this point a lot of people are going to have a lot of different parties or gatherings, um, some of you are going to go out. I tried that a couple years, didn't really like it, I'm just not a party person like that, I'm much more of a small gathering come to somebody's house or somebody's crib or something, eat some food, happy new year, get out of here and go home. I'm gonna make something today that is very, very easy for you to do, to bring to a party, that people are gonna be so impressed with. They're gonna say, how did you do this? And it's really, really not hard, like at all. What I'm talking about is cake balls. A lot of people like to put them on sticks and have little cake pops, but I just find the sticks to get in the way and it's much, much harder to do them in that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. So I pre-made the cake balls yesterday and put them in the freezer, which I'll pop in a short video right now of that happening and you can see how I did that. Basically, you just take cake. I had some leftover cake tops when I made my sister's birthday cake. Cut off uh, the top of the cake to level it and then I just put those cake tops in the freezer and then when I decided to do this, I brought them back out, um, put them in a food processor to make them little crumbles, put a little bit of buttercream in there, chocolate buttercream and then roll it up in a ball and stick them in a freezer so they get hard and they're firm. And that's where I am now. They're frozen. You can kind of see, oh, let's see if I can get one out of here. Yeah, you can see they have a little frost on them, but I took them out a little while ago so they're not like super, super cold. If you take the freezing cold cake balls and you dip them in warm chocolate, they're gonna crack, which personally I don't care about, but they're not as cute, I guess. Ooh, wow. I'm going to show you all the toppings that I have that I'm going to do today. So I have some white chocolate, um, semi-sweet chocolate, and these are just chocolate chips. At the bakery, we like to do melting chocolate, which is actually like the little saucer looking wafer things. I might insert a picture so you can see it here. But because I like to show y'all how easy things are, I just literally got some semi-sweet chocolate chips from Kroger and then some white chocolate chips also from Kroger. Melted them down so they're nice and runny and dippable. I have a little bit of coconut. Of course, I have a bunch of different kinds of sprinkle. And I have some leftover Reese's because me and my sister made homemade Moose Jacks ice cream, which I didn't show you, but it was dope. It was really good. And like chop them a little bit so they're small enough to go on top as toppings. Oh, my apron. <laughs> oh, this is so messy. See, I can always tell when my mom's been using my apron. She always uses my apron. Like, I have this one. And then remember that elf one I got for the last episode? She was in here baking with that yesterday. I said, ma'am, you have your own apron, so why you gotta use mine? <laughs> and I'm gonna rewash my hands since I touched my hair and clothes and other things, okay? Because if you don't wash your hands after touching your hair, clothes, or other things, you're nasty. These are all contaminated areas. Wash your hands. Take a cake ball, and they should be relatively round. I tried to do my best, but I'm not perfect. Take a toothpick, stick it on the flatter bottom of where it was sitting, just enough so you can get it in there well. And uh, hold on, let me take the spoon out of here, because it's gonna get in my way. This is the top, because it's rounder. This is the bottom with the toothpick in it, directly into the chocolate. So it covers the whole thing. Stick a fork in the bottom, pull it through like that, and slide it onto the wax paper. Now I know that was a lot, and that was really quick. I'll show you again. Um, let me get my first topping on here. Some coconut. Sprigga dee dee. Oh, let me also, before I keep going with this, look, I'm so scattered today. Cause it's not a normal episode, it's super easy. And I think I oversimplified it in my head. I also have, oh no. My nuts are sliding out. Oh, that sounds dirty, I'm sorry. I also have a few pecans. They're folded nicely on inside this wax paper. Another like that, and hit them with a the mallet. Now they're nice and crumbly. While I'm at it, I'm gonna take a couple Reese's and 
and chop them up a little bit. Pow, 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 pow. Scooch this back over, we'll come back to these. So now that we're back in action, yeah, this is already pretty much hardened. I'm not gonna touch it, nothing happens. All right, so I'm gonna stick it in there, and I kinda do like shimmy it a little bit. And I like to shake it like that. Some of that excess chocolate off. And then stick the fork underneath it again. Ooh. And slide it over here. Ooh. Well, those gold ones are cute. I am using wax paper. And you do want to put your toppings on very quickly because like I said, the cake balls are frozen and when it interacts with the chocolate, it's going to freeze the chocolate or cool the chocolate very quickly. And if you try to like do three of these at a time and then go back and put the top, it's too late, baby girl, baby boy. I'm going to do some of this white. It's like coarse sugar. Some of that one. Let's get some reseasoned chocolate in here and let's do some pecans yes so one thing that i have not mastered yet in doing these some kind of cake ball with a filling in it and we just haven't really figured out a good way to do that yet i've tried to inject it into the middle before and it just doesn't work well <laughs> these reseasoned ones are kind of special not very cute i'm not gonna lie oh and other news <gasps> uh, i just finished watching the second season of you last night girl boy whomever joe i is ugh, that show stresses me out so much i'm like how did this man keep getting away and getting off on all these murders and all this creepiness and sneakiness i won't give anything away no spoiler alerts here but just know the end of season two you are going to be pissed so the chocolate ones are done spin it around same thing as with the chocolate ones get in the bottom shake off the excess this is why i need a co-host or at least sometimes a co-host because i don't like hearing myself talk this gonna blow your mind right here okay sit there no topping most people would say you need to melt your chocolate in a double boiler but it takes longer and i don't feel like having to wait i take my chocolates i put them in a glass measuring cup or some kind of narrower glass structure and you melt them. So I'm gonna take the chocolate from before, pour it into a bag, cut the little corner off, give them some space, a little drizzle, right across. Get on there! Stop trying to embarrass me. Wow! Voila! Yay! Aren't they just gorgeous all together? And of course it wouldn't be New Year's Eve if you didn't have some bubbly on you. Now y'all know I don't drink like that. I just said that last episode. I got that sparkling white grape on you. <laughs> pour it up, pour it up. Watch that out, my out. Get a little sweetie sweet. Let's get into this. Let me see, which one should I try? So many options. Let's do... Um, I have a lot of sprinkle ones. I'm gonna use sprinkle one. Well, that's all I got today. Let's do a quick cheers to a new year, to a new decade, to new jobs, new money, new healthy relationships, to all the things that God has for us. Happy New Year. I'll see y'all in 2020. Thanks for watching. Bye.